Football is a family of team sports that involves varying degrees. Kicking a ball with a foot to score a goal. The sport has become so popular that it unites people of different race, tribe, language and gender. This unity has made people to form playing organizations like national teams, clubs and informal associations. In Africa, I'm a of in suburb of Lagos State, Nigeria. Some group of men at mature age come together to promote peace, unity, using football as a tool. One of these group is called the Amor Dauphin Fitness Club. The club started with a vision to engage their ever busy members in physical health exercises to maintain sound health. They use the barber sports, both indoors and outdoors recreation, to keep all their members in shape, who are mostly between their early 30s to 50s. Uh, our club is a fitness and uh, social club. And our most priority is for us to keep ourselves fit. And um, we train every Saturday. I love every, every activity of the club and since I've joined, I've had more reasons even to tell people and to introduce people to the club. Telling them how good the club is. And how the club has helped in my life, in my personal life, in my uh, building of my fitness. Oh, the free general fitness club. It's no profit orientation. It's all about fitness. In all aspects, if we don't, we can use anything physically in fitness. As far as you are married, you are a married man. You are entitled to be at least for 30 years. These men are the financial engines for the community in which they stay. So apart from just playing football, they use the club to engage in other philanthropic actions for community. To contribute our quotas to society, like the place we are sitting now, we constructed this place for the use of all, so that uh, it will be a benefit for the people living around here. We used to visit less privileged people. We do charity. We need to help ourselves individually. There are some that came the other time that they want to do kidney transplant. Though the club doesn't know them, but the club still running around, raise money and help. Not as tax, but as free will donations. Clubs like this engage in football competitions with other clubs organized to see the best for a period of time. One of such organizers is this man, highly respected and always in control. We organize the commission for all stars, people 37 years and above, ex footballers businessmen. This commission is meant for them because the commission will make them train always and fit. That's firstly. Secondly, to bring unity among uh, ex footballers workers, every, like now, every, uh, there are a lot of people from different places here. Everybody is interacting. Uh, interaction. It is a lovely Sunday in the city of Lagos, a city cooled with the freshness of the great Atlantic Ocean. And somewhere in Festac, the men of Amor Dauphin Fitness Club prepare for their tense football encounter with the real fitness club. club which they once belonged and pulled out from. The fate of the competition has made them to play against each other today, so something rash might be expected. Yeah. <laughs> 
Ayo has come to play football, but he is rejected for reasons of being underaged. Around the world, disputes like this between rival teams has caused intense violence and even loss of life. At this point of this documentary, I and my team we are unsafe being in the field. After some time, the big man saves the day. It is kickoff, and financial giants from different walks of life collide to win the match. <laughs> This is what some has to say. We are playing good football, but we need to come up well. Wow, yeah, because he's been, uh, he's not gonna be easy playing um, our brother Samuel at the fitness club. So it has been a um, kind of a do or die game. But we are trying to calm the game down and make them understand that football is just a fun thing, you know. We are here just to have fun and enjoy ourselves. I see, I see have a good player and the bench. So I expect somebody to come on. We just want to score, we want to score them, we want to show them that we are their family. A pep talk with the team. Four to five years ago, we were together as well. But you know, uh, something happened so large that uh, there was a need for, for communication. So the team uh, got divided and uh, some part of us went to Amu and formed the Amu football club. So whenever we come together, it's always like a, a you know, and a fellowship. Also, although you know that like when it comes to competition and when it comes to football, even if you are playing with your your your, your blood brother, one on the other side, the other person on the other side, there's always a, a competitive. Yeah,
At the end of the day, the game brings love, fitness and unity, like it always do.